My new song, Last One On Your Mind, is out everywhere. You can stream it on any major streaming platform. Just type my name, Jennifer Glatzofa, over on Spotify, Apple Music, wherever you want to go, and the song will be there. So I hope you listen to it. I hope you enjoy it. And the music video is out now, so do go and check it out. Leave me a comment over there. Thank you so much for your support, as always. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Jennifer Glatzofa, but you can call me Jen. I am a singer and a voice teacher. And a few weeks ago, probably a month or a bit ago now. I reacted to and broke down Numb by Linkin Park and then I looked at that time, it was their newest track. I understand they've released two new songs since then, which hopefully I will get round to reacting to and breaking down. But a lot of you left this recommendation on my Numb reaction and analysis video. As always, this is a reaction and an analysis video, so I will be stopping and talking about the vocals and the music. That's what I like to do over here. If you'd rather watch the full video uninterrupted, I've left the link to the original video in the description below. In the description below, you can also find links to my Patreon page. Do go and check me out over there. There's lots of fun additional content going on over there. You get updates over there, Discord access, monthly chats, lots of things going on. And of course, with the release of Last One On Your Mind, my newest single, over on Patreon, you'll get to know when my next one's coming out. That's all I'm saying for now. <laughs> I feel like I'm prepared. I've got a hot drink, I've got my tea, and I've got some water with my lovely merch. The merch link is also in the description below. There's lots going on there, so just go check it out. But otherwise, hit that subscribe button and the bell button, and let's get to Crawl In by Linkin Park. <laughs> Something inside me that pulls beneath the surface Consuming, confusing This lack of self-control I fear is never-ending Controlling, wow. I can't seem To find myself again My walls are closing in Okay, wow, this beginning section is really, um, I'm going to go right back to the beginning. It's so chilling, so empty, just with that solo uh, piano introduction. And then all that's added is Chester Bennington's vocals, his voice. Um, really quite in a similar, you know, we get a light, higher pitch kind of me melody at the beginning. And the vocals, the quality that comes in are also quite bright. We're getting a lovely bright lead here. Everything, it's, it feels very, very connected, very light and very easy. Uh, like as in, yeah, it's just nothing too harsh. I love the crowd joining in as well that we can hear. Something inside me that pulls beneath the surface Consuming, confusing This lack of self- Yeah, and na, na, na. There's a little bit of a crackle towards the end. So sometimes we do get a little bit of vocal fry kind of coming in as well, which is the vocal folds kind of connecting least. Um, but otherwise, everything is really lovely and smooth there's a lot of like joining onto the next words as well nice falling down of the melodic phrase and I love that controlling. There's like a linger of a mm before the next word. I'm just gonna get the lyrics up. I always forget this way too late and I love just going back to the lyrics. <laughs> so I don't think that I've heard this song before and just looking at the lyrics, it f I feel the original starts with a chorus but we're starting straight away with verse one. So it's live, very different and I want to hear the, um, the beginning uh, just to see the difference but I love how it's literally just broken chords and then empty so when you hear the vocals it's not like a melodic phrase it's just very vocal led driven it's so powerful yeah listen to that linger on to the next word I can't, mm, I can't to find myself again my walls are closing in oh it's I felt this way before So insecure Cro 
oh no, I just want to listen to that again. Wow. I love how there's an element of grit in there. We hear that rough edge to his voice, to the vocals as he's kind of getting a little bit more aggressive. There's a little bit more of a a force there, like just with the false vocal folds touching as well a little bit. But then also towards the end, we do warm up and we let that vibrato spin there. That's so lovely all happening in almost like one continuous. We get that harshness and then that control back into that emotional vibrato that jump as well from being in that octave which is a little bit lower into the speech like quality we do jump up uh let me just uh, da -da -da. let me just hear where we are here yeah i think we hit an a flat four there actually um so to maintain a thick fold up there we need to be you know it's in an area where it's unnatural for the um chest or thick folds to be there naturally without kind of thinking unless we're kind of really just going for it with volume but otherwise to get up there, we do need to start blending things. Yes, a chest dominant mix, but we also need to make sure that our body is committed to the sound. So I love how his head's kind of tilted as well. He's really singing into it. It's kind of almost like leaning onto the, the audience, the crowd. I love how there's contact. I love how involved everyone is. I just, I said this before with the numb reaction, and I think there were a few comments there as well. It was like he was the voice of so many that felt like they couldn't be heard. And I love that about their songs. Yeah, he likes sex and this way before. So insecure. Crawling in my skin. These wounds they will not heal. Oh, nice. Fear is how I Yeah, notice on, is it heal and real? Uh, let me just find it here. Uh, these wounds, they were not heal, confusing what is real. So these are interesting words because we could sing them heal, real, sing them on the first part of the diphthong of the E vowel. But what he's doing here really nicely, um, heal, opening up to the R, uh, real, not on that note. <laughs> but he's opening up to the R so we can sit on a bit more of an open vowel as then he warm gets this warmer sound, gets that uh, vibrato back in. It's just a little bit more of a darker overall tone, which is really nice. Again, this is the chorus. We're still on a broken chord. Yes, we're kind of playing a little bit more, uh, not just holding on to the same note throughout the whole bar. We are kind of like hovering on it, but it's still just piano and his voice. Like, it's so powerful now that we're singing up the octave as well. Also, it's all on repeated notes. We obviously we kind of come down a little bit to create that chorus, but it's all up here. We've got to be supported. And I love how, yes, he is supported with his body, but it's also supported by the crowd. The crowd is there with him. And I also love how raw and real his vocals are here as well, which is really important to the message of the song. But also what is great about live singing, and there's so much talk about like pitch correction and losing the emotion. We can hear on wounds, on the word wounds, how it's a smaller sound. Uh, here, obviously open wounds. It's kind of going into a bit more of a smaller territory, but you can kind of hear that natural wave and wobble of a voice and that's what makes it human and I love that. A little bit of that grit in there still. It's really 
Sorry, I did talk over that. But sorry, I love how that was written, actually. I thought it was going to stop there, but it didn't. So it's haunting how I can't seem to find myself again. I think we just went into that. Um, so I love how the... Is this called a verse? Yeah, the verse goes into that pre-chorus, but it's joined. It, it doesn't just finish. And then we start the pre-chorus. It's written over the bar, the phrase. That's really melodically satisfying, like, just to hear. I love that. Um, now, I was going to say here in this shot we can see him and we can see that he's kind of holding the mic uh like covering it a little bit it's a bit more intimate maybe that's why we're getting a bit of a muffled in like sound sometimes but otherwise we're really just seeing like the back of chester beddington and the emotion and the contact the relationship between him and the audience and that's so powerful as well again very minimalistic instrumentation wise nothing has changed we've just dropped back to the uh lower octave for his voice kind of into this more spoken lead feel but he's still holding on to and longing out these the words onto the next it's got this lovely flowing feel to it acting reacting against my will i stand beside my own reflection it's haunting how i can't seem to find myself again yeah my walls are Oh, I love how that was a linger in, and it felt like it was in a very small space. You know, it's really drawing everyone in. He's physically close with the audience, but also the small sound, the quiet kind of close, intimate space he is like with the microphone. It we're leaning in to feel involved. And we hear that waver and that slight slide up as well. Nice. I felt this way before So insecure Oh, that was a longer note there. Sorry, I just stopped uh, quickly again. You can really look at in insecure the word is right insecure insecure but he's making this vowel up at the top when he's ascending to the a4 again yeah se dropping down to this a vowel cure and actually it's doing quite a similar space se cure on the cure even though it's a different vowel but keeping it nice and elongated nice and narrow so we have more control because he's holding on to it for you know the verse is very it's lower for one so our muscles, our vocal folds are kind of in this speech-like territory anyway, pitch-wise. So it's kind of like not much is changing there uh, in relation to how he would speak to the singing. It's kind of quite in a similar territory. As he ascends, he's also holding on to it. So we're in a different um, octave, a little bit higher. We are through the first passage actually, actually as well. So maintaining a chest thicker connection up there, we've got to be supported. And then we're also holding on to the note a lot longer. I lost count of how many things. But so keeping it narrow, we've got a lot more control over that sound. And then we hear that lovely freedom of the vibrato as well. What is that lyric? Um, I've, I've felt this way before. So insecure. I love how that's the scream. You know, sometimes we keep our not the scream, sorry, but that's the loudest part, the higher part of this pre-chorus. You know, we keep our insecurities to ourselves. But he's like, actually, no, I'm going to sing it at a higher pitch because I want that to be heard. I think there's something really powerful about that. So oh, look at that. I love as well, wounds, not heal, right? Not heal. He's kind of blending that. I know with a British accent, not heal. Not heal. But the not's gone, our placement in there, which is very 
close to how he would say it, but it's the way he's going from the knot to the heel. Nadia. Like it's very joined together. Um, da da da. Mm. Okay, so he's hovering on this semitone here, F, F sharp. Um, da, 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 then comes back to mm, uh, E flat, yeah. Da, da, da. So he's, to maintain this, we've got to be supported. We've got to make sure that our core is engaged. The elongated kind of narrow vowel placement as well encourages this kind of moan, like wine feel onto it as well. It's not about throwing up lots of volume. It's about keeping that same, you know, consistent quality throughout. So he's got to make sure that we are supported and that emotion is definitely driving us here to keep a hold of that. I mean, wow, that was just him and the piano all the way throughout that, like really just letting the story, his voice, you know, not showing off. It's not about the showing off with the riffs and stuff. That's not what this is about at all. It's just connecting to the words. Look how many emotions, how many people he moves like it, it was moved was moved what's the correct grammar was moved by this uh performance i love how connected my voice disconnected as i said that <laughs> i love how connected he is how everyone is in that room i mean i'm sat behind a screen watching this and that is emotional like you could really feel every single thought like every single completion of a word in the sense of the meaning behind it like imagine being one of those people right at the front holding on to singing directly into the eyes back and having chester bennington just sing those words to you feeling heard a lot of things well thank you very much for watching this reaction and analysis video i thoroughly enjoy that performance very very different from what i saw before so i understand why you wanted me to react to this it was very raw very emotional and i just love that we really hear every single moment part of his voice as he's obviously singing into the mic we can hear every little detail it's just wonderful but let me know in the comments below where you want me to go next with Lincoln Park and Chester Bennington and do hit that subscribe button the bell button and the thumbs up button go and check me out over on Patreon and remember to stream listen to add to your favorite playlist listen to my newest song last one on your mind over on Spotify any major streaming platform it's under my name make sure you go follow me over on Spotify as well so you are notified and I'll see you very soon for another video bye Thank mm -hmm. you.